Hi, my name is Kara Santan, and this is the front side of USS Cassie and Young that's in Charleston Navy Yard in Boston. And uh, I started um, with a first um, uh, design for the hull, which was flat, and then I slowly uh, made it more curved to make it more realistic. And then I started on the top part with the cannons and the like initial building here, which I just laid on top and just built up. And then right now it's just placed on top. And uh, the cannon design, I used a lot of slopes and bricks. And then uh, I put some dis uh, designs on there as a, like a ladder. And then the cannon, I just used uh, circular bricks. And then for the building right here, um, I did uh, some door designs that I got inspiration from uh, Dan's old version of USS Nicholas. And uh, then I put some uh, door there and a ladder um, from inspiration from other builds of other types of uh, ships. And then I uh, slowly made my way to the back part where I put the little flat guns, which I designed myself um, based off of uh, a bunch of pictures of old uh, uh, Fletcher class destroyers that I found. And then I uh, just put a bunch of Technic pieces that I thought maybe would add more to it. And then I made my way to the bridge where um, I originally based this off of Greyhound, the movie. So I put right there on uh, the little um, uh, lookout place uh, a kind of version of uh, Tom Hanks. And then in the inside, I did a, um, that's where they drive the ship. They have um, just some sailors manning it, uh, where they control most of the ship. And uh, that's it for the ship. I'm going to continue working on the rest of the ship uh, slowly. And then I started doing the harbor, which um, I based it off of a design um, of a submarine U-boat base, um, where it's mostly just concrete, flat, um, has some uh, garages um, for cargo, and then I tried to make it more look like it's a secure place. So I put a um, a, a, a bunch of fencing, a little booth where um, they guard it and they um, like know who's coming and who's unloading stuff. And then I added some figures over there um, that were unloading cargo to put on the ship. And in this scene, I tried to make it look like the ship is arriving just from duty and uh, they're gonna rearm and resupply the ship to go back into battle. And yeah, that's pretty much it. No, it's a it's a great layout here. One thing that I like is how you've kind of taken just a section of the ship and decided to build that out here. So you're still able to do a lot of detail, uh, and even without doing the entire ship here. So talk about kind of your design design de decision there. Um, yeah, I obviously wanted to start with the front part of the ship because if I were to not finish it, it would still look com almost complete. And uh, I thought I really liked in these class of World War II destroyers. I like the two cannons that are one's on the bottom, one's on the top. And I really like that shot from the front, which makes it, uh, I don't know, I just really like that photo and design. And even if you don't complete the ship, it still looks complete. And then I obviously wanted to do the bridge because I love the background of the bridge. You can see the windows in the background. And it just, uh, yeah, I really like that um, design of ship. Now, because this is only part of the ship, you are able to look at the back here and kind of see some of how the, the design came together. So talk about kind of the whole design and how you were able to make this structurally. Um, yeah, so I initially, the very front part of it is just completely solid with Lego bricks in the middle. Um, I did a lot of, used a lot of Lego window pieces uh, because it added a lot of, uh, I didn't have to completely fill it in and it added a lot of structural support. Um, and then at the very end, I, there's some hollow parts where I thought it was pretty solid and I didn't need to put bricks in there, but most of this is just filled in with window pieces or just solid, uh, colorful bricks. And then at the very end, I used uh, 16 by 16 uh, dark bluish gray um, plates to cover it off. And then if I do continue it, I'll take that off and uh, put that at the very end where I end it. 
So if you continue it, what's the full size going to be, do you think, if you do the entire ship? Uh, yeah. So I, if I do continue it, I think I'll do it into maybe four or three sections. And so I might tile this more smoothly and then create a new um, section, which I can uh, push in of the uh, another, uh, like, three cannons, and then the middle part with more, like, flat guns and more part of the bridge and uh, mast. One de cool detail you were able to include is the numbers on the side. So was that difficult to incorporate that? Obviously, you've got a ton of gray and then having to work those white parts in there. Yeah, so when I initially did the uh, flat side, that was a lot easier. I did uh, used white um, 1x8s and 1x2s and some 1x1s to make it... Um, uh, have the numbers of seven nine six I think and uh, I tried to redo that when I redid the uh, hull and I thought it came out really well um, and if you look at from the side it is a little um, not clear but I think it put out a good um, yeah a seven nine six I think it looks good yeah you were still able to represent it at least so talk a little bit more about kind of the historical significance of this ship why did you choose to build this uh, for your model yeah, so in uh, late 2021, I went to the Charleston Navy Yard and I saw the saw this as a museum. And uh, I got this pamphlet that showed all the history of it, which uh, it served in the Pacific War and got hit by two kamikaze attacks. And um, I, I mean, I'm a, I really like World War II and I thought um, to base it off of this one because I have a lot of pictures from what I went, when I went and I obviously saw it so I can look at the tiny details um, so I can include that in a, yeah, I like putting those tiny details so it uh, looks more complete and yeah. You were also able to incorporate lights here in kind of the bridge section which always makes a build stand out. What type of lights did you use there? How did you incorporate that? Um, I'm not exactly sure what company but I found some lights that have uh, tiles in it and then the lights in the bottom so it's small enough to hide it so you don't see the wires in it and then you just put it on top and I put three of them and I thought it give, gave um, uh, the perfect um, representation of what it's like in there instead of just a dark room. Yeah. Well, Excellent work on the whole layout here. Thanks for bringing it out to the show. Yeah, thank you.